Hello everybody, my name is Eddie. And I am Jesse. And we are the Misfits. Today we're gonna go ahead and talk about Luna. I wanna go ahead and talk to you really quick how I, I got Luna. It was back uh, two years ago and- 2016. One of my uh, coworkers that I used to work with at the time, she told me that um, she had a puppy. Couldn't afford to keep them all because where she lives at, she can't have a lot of pets. I couldn't really take care of a dog, even though I wanted one. I couldn't take care of it because where I lived, we couldn't have pets. So um, <clears throat> I told her to give me a couple of days just to see if I could. There was this one puppy that I fell in love with. It was a brown one. So I asked my friend Jesse here and asked him if he could take care of the dog for me. And, you know, I will you know, help him obviously since it was still going to be my dog and uh, he has pets so he right away said yeah so um that was basically it i said okay well i told my friend like a couple of days later you know what yeah that's fine you can bring the puppy um little did i know that when she brought the puppy she told me oh um i forgot to tell you the puppy that you wanted actually i gave it to someone else so i was like so what dog do you have and she's like it's this one this is the only one left and it's a white little dog it's um it's a female if i remember she gave me uh the puppy and i was i was kind of mad because i was like oh i really wanted the brown one because you know i've always wanted like a, a cute little brown dog and that one looked like a little teddy bear she goes like this and she shows me the puppy and i remember i looked at her and like i grabbed her it was kind of always of me not wanting her at the beginning but you know it, it's just i really wanted a brown dog at that time but anyways i looked at her and i was like oh I'm like and then like I remember I just saw her face and like she was just staring at me like she was so scared like she was shaking nervous right away I fell in love with her I was like oh she's really adorable and like with those beautiful bluish um, green eyes that she has I fell in love with her and um, I decided to right away take her to a pet store and buy, buy her some ribbons some foods you know for her little ears so that she would look really cute and uh there were it was like some purple um bows that i bought her I took her to jesse and then jesse from there he took care of her after that um a couple what like a year later we got uh we got another dog his name is echo can i explain this part so when we got echo i was going through something one of my dogs that i had that i really loved passed away i fell into depression i didn't want to see nobody i didn't want to be with nobody i didn't want to go out i was depressed i was sad i hardly ate the death of my dog really got to me because i fell in love with her she was a rescue dog the day that she passed away really affected me and it still hurts to this day to think about it you know we adopted this black shih tzu and um i took him home he's the most loyal dog that you would ever meet i started noticing changes in luna she started becoming more tiring she became more hungry she became more tired you can tell because she used to love playing around i would literally come home play with her um but when i started noticing these changes she literally would just sleep would rest and then i kind of got worried one day we just decided to take her to the vet just to double check that everything was okay with her he told me that Luna was pregnant, that she had one more month to give birth. He told me at that time that Luna was expecting five puppies, one of them which was not developed completely. It was going to be half of it only. It was going to be half of it only. Because she would, the dog was going to be only half of it, uh, that, you know, to just expect that one of them was going to be yeah, dead already. Yeah, but he also told me that, um, since it was going to be half of it, it would be hard for her to push it out. So basically that's up to the point where like we'll show you the video. Is that the last thing that we knew was that um, Luna was expecting five puppies. One of them was going to be half. So he was he or she wasn't going to make it alive. But four of them were going to be alive. They were, they were healthy. From there, you'll go ahead and see the video now as to what happened after that. Uh, just to let you know guys, some of the videos are from Snapchat that we recorded. So... The, the 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 video the might screen will show half. Yeah. So here's the video of the story of Luna and what happened to her when she was giving birth, which was really really hectic. And I it was yeah, it's it's a feeling that any one of you would never want to feel. This is the video of Luna, the strongest, most bravest dog that I've ever met.
is the first time that we you know we seen a dog give birth and like I feel like one of the things that we've noticed that she does a lot is she breathes heavily a lot well she breathes like really fast and we didn't know if that was normal but um, we were checking and uh, they say that that is normal also she she moans a lot like she's hurting her we noticed also that her stomach got really um how do you say like really Inflated. even earlier today when she was um when she was still okay you could tell that when you would touch her stomach and like the size of her stomach it will feel like kind of soft but like after like a couple hours ago like when she was about to start giving birth like um feeling like you know that the symptoms you could feel the size of her uh, on her sides like like right here and there you could feel you could feel it really like hard so i, I was googling that and i found out that it happens a lot i guess the, there's two phases the phase one is when she's um when she's about like when she's starting to feel the symptoms and her stomach gets that big i think i think i heard it was because it's making space for the babies to come out if i'm not mistaken so that's why it gets really like like hard it's okay don't know So it's 3.30 in the morning and she still hasn't given up her 20 babies. She's just walking around because she feels uncomfortable. And it's a little frustrating because we were watching her videos and... The thing is that's kind of worrying is that oh my god, I think her water broke or something. Did you see guys this little what? But anyways, um, she's not. She hasn't given birth to any dog, and it's kind of worrying because she should be giving birth already. So we called the emergency room and they said that um to give it a couple, a little bit more time to see what happens. Hopefully everything goes well. If not, we're gonna have to take her to the, to the emergency room and she doesn't give birth, but I don't know why she doesn't stay in her spot. She's just moving around, which is kind of worrying me. Now she's going back to her spot, but, but yeah, guys, kind of worrying. can see um, we came to the bed unfortunately Luna was not giving birth and she was struggling a lot so we're here in the waiting room trying to see if they could check what's wrong with her Hopefully it's good news. Stoja, meaning that she can't go into labor herself. She needs us to assist her. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can get the puppy out yet. The nurses need to take some x-ray and see where they're stuck at. Okay. There's a chance she may need a C-section. Start with that first. But uh, she's pushing, trying, yet she's really not She can't, right? Progress. So w what are the risks for, for doing this? Like, for x-rays? No, for like the C-section and everything. If she needs a C-section, yeah. anesthesia, mm -hmm. her puppy might not be alive by the time we open her up. Oh. She, they might not be alive now, okay? So you don't know that you, until you do the x-ray, right? Or Okay, how much would it be for that? About $300 for the extra. 
just for the x ray and then so is there not any like payment plans or anything like that there is a pair of credit that's a credit card you can apply for that mm -hmm. lets you spread out payments do you want an application for it yeah because we would want to do that yeah. uh, let's get that for you okay right? You can tell it's blood and it's not like thick, it's not yellow. Okay. So that's normal blood? That's normal blood. Okay. okay. So we shouldn't be worried. That, that is not worried. Yeah. See, it's only like drops like that. Sometimes yeah. you'll see a small puddle and that's okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Proud mommy. Hey Luna. We don't have the babies with her because she doesn't recognize the babies and she tries to bury them. She thinks they're toys. We actually had to hold her so that the babies could like drink milk from her nipples. We gotta do it little by little because she rejects them. She doesn't, I guess because of the stress or because she's a new mom for the first time. So that's why.
Angel. Angel. Say hi. 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 Just want to go ahead and present you guys. This is Angel, as you guys have already seen. And this is Squeaky, and they actually have meanings behind their names. This is Squeaky. He's a playful one. So Squeaky, we name him because um, it's Luna's favorite. It's toy. It's Luna's favorite toy. Her favorite toy. She loves Squeaky toys. So we name him after whatever she loves, you know. And then we actually named him Angel because. Um, it was a miracle of God. We lost three angels on the process, but we gained two. Mm -hmm. Well, Candy have a little pain in the butt, but I loved them to death, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it oh my God. Squeaky. Yeah. <laughs> ah! We have a little surprise for you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new segment. And our new segment is going to be with these puppies. Uh, who would you be like the life of Squeaky and Angel? <laughs> True. No. We're gonna, like I said, we were going to do a new segment with them. And we're going to go ahead and start um, showing you videos of their little adventures. Like them going out uh, to the parks. Going out to get their little uh, furs. Um, you know, f like fix. Like if, if it's too long or too dirty or whatever. You know, a little spa treatment for them. We're going to the pet store. We're going to go ahead and take them to the pet store as well. So they can have a little adventure. They're still a little, they're not that little no more, they're getting bigger, but we haven't really taken them out outside because we want to, uh, we were waiting for them to get it old enough. I'm going to go ahead and do a little uh, videos of them um, doing with their little adventures. So hopefully you guys go ahead and subscribe and uh, like this video so that you guys could see their future adventures. Bye babies! Bye! Bye.